So today uh, we'll be unpacking the best and worst performance from this particular region. And another thing that we'll be looking at is in terms of the best performers, which will be Botswana uh, for this week, what has been driving uh, sentiment in that particular region. Then we look at the laggards uh, in that region, and that has been Zimbabwe. So uh, the likes of Econet and Delta have definitely been a pressure point for that particular market. But to help me make sense of all of this, I'm now joined by Tabo Nalo. He is a portfolio manager at Stanlib, and he joins us here today. Tabo well, thank you so much. Good so afternoon. first, let's start off with the first point, best and worst the performing bosses sure. for the week. Uh, tell us what the movements have been like in the southern parts of Africa. So good afternoon to Michel. I mean, it's been fascinating looking at markets this week. It's just been a red uh, uh, week all, all throughout the southern African region, all except Botswana. You know, Botswana was the only market that was almost flat, but a little bit up, uh, just, uh, just under 1%. All the other markets across the region, you look at Namibia, you look at Zimbabwe, you look at even South Africa, we're all in the red this week. Uh, as a result, I think, of what we saw happening in China yes. and across global markets in general. So we definitely, uh, the South African markets were not shielded at all. We definitely reacted to the global events that took place. Correct. And I think we also saw our, our currencies on the, on the back of that also weakening quite a bit. Uh, so it was a double whammy. You know, you saw the markets falling quite a bit and you saw the currencies getting uh, hit quite badly as well. As you know, markets like Namibia, like Swaziland, of course, have their currencies packed to the, the South African rand. So any weakness in the rand, of course, uh, affects all these markets. Markets. So the only green and green movements we saw this week in Africa was across East Africa. Uh, and only, in, as, as we say, in Southern Africa, it was only Botswana that was up marginally. So let's talk about Botswana there. What uh, drove the positive sentiment there? It's mainly been, uh, you know, large movements from stocks such as Tropis. Okay. Tropis, which also, uh, you know, a jewel listed in South Africa at the end of May, uh, that stock has done extremely well, both in Botswana and in uh, in South Africa. So you saw Tropis this week leading the mar leading the market. I think it was down, uh, it was up just uh, just a little under five five percent, and that stock is continues to hit new highs, uh, but just ba mainly on the back of the announcements they've made that they're looking to, you know, acquire new uh, uh, supermarket chains across East Africa, across Kenya, and across. Tanzania. Mm. So I think some of this positive news and the fact that we're waiting for uh, results from Tropis uh, has still continued to sort of, you know, push that market higher and higher over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I are you convinced that this is sustainable? I mean, a 5% move, is this just for this week or is that a continuous movement that you have been uh, seeing for that particular counter? You know, we, we've seen uh, Chopis just, you know, increasing since sort of the end of April and that's been sustained, you know, since then, you know. Uh, and it's mainly on the back of, as I mentioned, you know, the, the amount of uh, space growth yeah. they're likely to get as, as they acquire new, uh, you know, new supermarkets, new, new markets. So they're currently sitting at about 125 stores uh, between, you know, Zimbabwe, South Africa and Botswana. Uh, and now they're looking to get into, into Tanzania, they've, they've, they've bought 10 new stores in Kenya. So I think all of these uh, you know, extra uh, space growth that's coming through is helping to give the, spot, the, the, the stock a little bit of support. And I think the market is pricing some of these uh, you know, growth uh, prospects that are coming through uh, into the stock. Mm. Uh, you mentioned Zimbabwe there. We're going to go to that in just a few moments. But uh, just a final point on Choppies. They mentioned the East African market. We spoke to the chief executive a few months ago when they listed on the JSC. And he's uh, keeping his cards very close to his chest. Uh, in terms of uh, them being able to to penetrate those markets effectively. What's the temperature on the ground that you are hearing from your peers? Well, look, I mean, they seem to, to have done a good job in South Africa. If you look at what, what they've done, just expanding out of, out of Botswana, going into South Africa, and then into Zimbabwe. So, I mean, I think the track record of, of the players, as, as, of Choppies, uh, has sort of you know, led the market to believe that they can execute in, in various markets across South Africa. So, King has a natural fit. You know, they've gone and, and acquired you know, an existing chain of supermarkets of 10 stores, um, and they're looking to, you know, to expand even, even further into Tanzania. So, from, from that perspective, you know, some, most of the acquisitions haven't necessarily been greenfield. Mm -hmm. They've been going out there acquiring an existing chain and expanding from there. So, and then they've done a, a, a pretty good job so far, you know, and I think they haven't give, as yet given the market any reason to doubt them mm -hmm. or to doubt the fact that they won't be able to execute as, as well in, in East Africa. Well, uh, Zimbabwe, uh, that is one that has been a laggard for this week. So two stocks uh, sticking out for you, Econet, Econet and Delta. Sure. I mean, Zimbabwe has unfortunately been, uh, you know, one of the worst performing markets in Africa this year, uh, and this week is no exception. You know, and that's as a result of uh, some of the, the, you know, the economically the country is going through uh, quite a lot of trouble. Uh, we saw, you know, even even the growth rate being cut to the lowest level. I think cut cut down by the Ministry of Finance a couple of weeks ago to about 1.5 percent, which is the lowest since uh, the, the economy dollarized. Yes. And I think all of these issues, you know, and of course the weaker rand is also affecting the economy, where you know now the the, the economy found 
finds, finds it easier to import goods from South Africa mm -hmm. as a result of the, the, the weaker end, you know, in terms of what, 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 they, what they consume. And that, of course, tends to affect uh, local producers, and that tends to affect, you know, local, the manu local manufacturing base. And as you, as you correctly said, you know, the market has continued to get hit. Uh, largely, the larger names like Econet, like Delta, have been the ones that have been most affected. Uh, and they've been, uh, you know, dramatically, you, you know, beat down, as it were, I think, over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, and they're playing in different sectors. But what's interesting is you mentioned choppies in Zimbabwe. Uh, can they make it work, given the fact that, you know, all the constraints and the negativity around this uh, particular investment opportunity or, or not, that is Zimbabwe? You know, m most of the stores they, they acquired in Zimbabwe are largely, you know, to the south uh, west, closer to, uh, to Bulawayo and obviously closer to the border with Botswana. And some of the, you know, the case that the Tropis has made is that they're easily able to export their, they'll move their goods from Botswana or from South Africa into their, their stores in South Africa, sorry, into, in, in, in Zimbabwe. So, so I, I think that that bodes quite well for them because, you know, if, whenever you have a slowdown in Zimbabwe and you have the Zimbabwean economy importing as much as they can from either Botswana or South Africa, they tend to, to, to benefit quite, quite well mm -hmm. because they, they can just move their, their stores, presumably, from their, yeah, you know, their distribution centers in those countries into Zimbabwe. So it should bode quite well for them, I think, as, uh, as the situation goes on. Yeah. Well, so it really is about positioning. Tabo, thank you so much. Uh, thanks so much to Tabo. Uh, he's a portfolio manager at Stanlib.